Hi, I've just been watching uh, or listening via YouTube uh, the uh, fantastic was David Lammy on LCB, who I got to admit is an excellent broadcaster, and um, I actually quite enjoyed his show. He's, he's, he's um, if you don't know him, he's a black uh, MP from uh, an area of London called Brent, and um, he's fiercely defensive of his black culture, and he's a he's left-wing socialist, but. He's been speaking to people today about this news today, this disparity uh, with the vaccination take-up between the um, BAME community and between the white community in, in, in Britain. And it's quite startling really that 91% of white people who are offered the jab are accepting it and 58% of black people, that's black Caribbean, are, uh, are, uh, are not accepting it. People of black African uh, heritage and He's trying to look into that fact, very interesting, he's been taking calls and what I can't believe is that the calls he's having just are immediately equating their reluctance to take up the vaccine with racism. Now, I can't ever remember us giving a different uh, vaccine to uh, black people or brain people I thought we all had the same vaccine, it's the AstraZeneca or the, the Pfizer. And it's just really strange how they're saying some there's two two callers now irrationally saying that it's because of racism that they've got to take it. So that for that reason they're not taking it. Now surely this the two subjects are totally different and there's no correlation. Um racism is a is a bad thing, it's a horrible thing in society and you know black people are quite right to to, to question it and to fight against, uh, uh, and they always talk, talk about institutional racism, of course. But to link it with the COVID, uh, COVID vaccination is, is pretty, pretty weird, really. And what is really strange, of course, is that black and ethnic people are more likely to die from this uh, from COVID-19. So really, they need the vaccine more than than, uh, than the white population. Uh, but to blame racism for the, for the vaccine, for not taking the vaccine. Obviously the other argument is that they would say is it's because of racism that there's a disproportionate amount of black people who have uh, lost their lives. And that's another subject which you know, obviously there are, there are more statistics that you could look at there. Personally I think it's just more to do with that, uh, the jobs they do, the, the housing, the, uh, the multi-generational uh, uh, housing where they live and um, another of other factors including health diabetes but a fascinating subject but yet again uh, the, the subject like many other subjects subject of vaccinations hijacked with the race card